hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. <laughs> no problem. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome. Mate. The bomber tattooed on his back is of course a reference to his potent punch power and not in any way insensitive to the tragedy which unfolded in this arena when Ariana Grande performed Manchester will never forget. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, and still, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I think I'm going to have to ring Ron Lyle up and uh, have ten questions with him. Keeps all uh, porky followers happy, doesn't it? He's, uh, he's always a good guest, even though we fall out every other week. <laughs> Let's see what Big Ron's up to. Here we go. Uh, Ross? How are you doing, Ron? You alright? Yeah, you, I've got you on loudspeaker. Is that alright? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I've got you on loudspeaker. Have you been keeping alright? <laughs> I swear. Is that first? Is that first time you've been on it? Why don't you get Clinton to do it? He, he used to have a gardening business, didn't he? Landsca Clinton Landscapes. <laughs> well, apparently he's, he'd said or something in his book that uh, after he packed in boxing, all I did was offer him a, a gardening job. <laughs> well, I didn't do bad for him. I made him a millionaire, helped him make a millionaire. And I know what he said. The, uh, he's only them got fighting, but he's a millionaire. Uh, and you've got people like, bigger names like Robin Reed. Uh, how much would I have made for it? Moving on then, you've had your show cancelled March 27th, Tommy Frank world title fight against Flores. Uh, when's that re reschedule for Dennis? Any news on that? No, but before I start, Russ, you're not going to slag me off like you've been slagging a lot of people off. No. You do have a pop at me now and again, Russ, don't you? You need it, don't some, you? Some, 
Yeah, but there's a bit, there's, there's an element of truth in a lot of what you said, but now and again, you do slag some people off who I've got a lot of respect for, and uh, I know you have, uh, for some of these people who have a pop at, you have a pop at me. What were that other week? You were having a night rant at me, calling me a weapon at week. Peter with the helmet of the week. Peter Fury. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, even though you, 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 love, you say you love me to bits, you do have a pop at me, don't you? Yeah, well, you need it, don't you, because your ego's massive. Listen, I think your ego's getting a bit too big for you. For you. Do you know when I, do you know, do you know when I first sussed that you had a massive ego, Ron? Right? When I went back to your house, right? We went back to your house, to your farmhouse, to have a drink, right? You went upstairs, and I thought, oh, this is all right. Big snooker table. I'll be all right here for night. There were no cues, and I'm poking you, and you passed out, right? Laid next to and I'm like, Dennis, we're at cues. And you're like, leave me alone, you passed out. So, Note got drunk and you just passed out. And I thought, I what? And he. Because you were drunk on whiskey. No, I weren't. I just didn't want you having my scalp on a snooker table. <laughs> <laughs> so, you hit cues, did you? <laughs> then you can't play snooker for Toffee. Right, move. Uh, listen. Well, moving on then, uh, the outlaw, Josh Whale. What's happening with Josh yeah. next? 4-0, form of his life. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously with this uh, the coronavirus thing, you know, That's an exclusive, is it? Yeah, for Porky's Corner. Yeah, go on then. Um, so, uh, that's where uh, hopefully Josh will be headlining that in a, in a meaningful fight. Uh, I've got a bit of a plan, but I've got, I've got to put it into place first before I can declare it. But uh, I want Josh, obviously, you know, time's moving on. We will have had months. We've been knocked back about, by the time this gets on, at least six to nine months. Um, so we've got to get motoring with Josh because he's, you know, he's in, he's in the, would you say, twilight of his career? Yeah. Um, but, but at the same time, he's in, for me, he's in the best form of his career, Russ. So mm. we, uh, if we're going to get big fights for Josh, I don't think there's any better time because he's never in a bad fight. He's as good as gold, him and his dad. they the great to work with. Um, and... Um, I'm looking forward to I want to win something big with, with Josh in Barnsley and his dad. Mm. That's what I want to do. Mm. And, uh, you, you know, it's, it's uh, little goals like that keep me you know, involved in, in, in the game. Mm. And people go, oh, what are you putting with Josh well for? He's lost to such a switch. It don't matter he's lost to. A lot of Josh's losses were, weren't losses. The, uh, uh, the worst they were learners and some of them losses, for me, he didn't lose. So his record shouldn't be as checkered as what it is. Mm. And all I'm bothered about is, oh, I brought Carl Thompson by dinner. I brought Stuart all off the scrappy. Even Ross, the boss, scrappy, wins Commonwealth and ends up number eight in the world at the WBO, WBO European Champion. So there's, there's people like that. And if Josh is in that category, you know, uh, where people go, oh, Carl Thompson shouldn't, shouldn't be making a comeback. Well, look what happened. Smashed David A to bits, won an IBO world title, and uh, one of the most genuine fellas I've ever met and been involved with in boxing. Uh, well, I've got so much respect for. The only the only thing I regret is that I don't stay in touch with him as much as I would have liked, because I've got nothing but respect for Carl. I love him to bits. Uh, people like Crawford Ashley. Mm. So much respect for Crawford, but... You know, he, he, he respects what job I did for Clinton, as did Roy Jones. Me and Roy Jones, 
I'm a big pal with Roy Jones, you know, when I did that job for Clinton, he looked at what I was doing when I gave, crashed the press conference. He knew I was just trying my best to make, to do the best for Clinton. And ever since that fight, Roy has been pals with me uh, because he's seen in, a, in, a, in an industry where sometimes, without mentioning names, uh, fighters are, are used as pieces of meat. Uh, it, it, there's a double-edged sword to this, though, Russ, because a lot of fighters just use managers and promoters as well. But promoters and managers use fighters, and I'm, you know, and 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 Roy's seen that, and they've seen that, you know, I didn't. I'm using Clinton as an example. I was just doing the best I could for for my, my pal and my fighter. Uh, but Clinton were were family to me, and uh, look what we went on to achieve. But uh, mm -hmm. and that's what you do. So. I know I'm around the, around the houses to tell you what I want to do, but uh, I get the same feeling working with Josh and his dad as I do with Tommy and Glenn and Big Richard. They like they mean a lot to me. And while if we can go and win something together, mm -hmm. the buzz I will get from that is, you know, you can have all your cocaine takers and whatever. That's the biggest buzz you can ever have. Go in and win something meaningful is for. Yeah, is that better than coke then? Apparently so. Yeah, good. Yeah, Allegedly, but... apparently, I don't know. Uh, would you tell me? No, well, we'll see, won't we, when Josh wins uh, not, a world it's title. Not, it's, not, it's not my game, is it, Burns? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't take. I don't take. Uh, well, I take paracetamol. I'm, I'm on some paracetamol. <laughs> uh, we've, we've all got a few pals who like a bit up, haven't we? Uh, yeah. You know, that's their, that's mm. their good aim, and uh, I, won't, I won't slag anybody for that because we've all. Advices and got advices, so. Look at you every night, Dennis. Sat on the settee with a bottle of Shiraz and a bag of balsamic vinegar crisps. That's your vice, isn't it? Listen, if that's all I did every night, I wouldn't be the specimen I am, would I? <laughs> You're ego so fucking big. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to say that. <laughs> right, then, so September 11th, Tommy Frank exclusive, Josh Whale, yes. October 9th. Yeah. Tommy's world that's title that's fight. Been. That's what's special, you know. Obviously, nobody knows what's happening, but all you can do is, is, is take a point. I mean, I've got a, I've got a music festival at Matlock Town, July, excuse me, July 11th and 12th. That's had to be uh, pointed by Bernard, so that's a bit of a blow. Um, but, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just have rescheduled that for next year, but uh, if I could have, I would have loved to have rescheduled that for this year, but, you know, you only get a window of opportunity in, with, with the football. Uh, season started but with a boxing I just took a, a bit of a punt with September and October uh, and I want to keep the momentum going obviously we've got the world title fight for Tommy to, uh, to reschedule uh, and I want to get a meaningful fight for, for Josh uh, but I want to put a, try and put a package together for Josh in a, like a two or five thing which I'm going to work on uh, two or three five thing which is going to be uh, which will be like, hopefully he'll have a make or break, he'll either go on to win, you know, something on the world stage, or, or uh, but he'll get the opportunity, and that's where I'm working on. Yeah, yeah, because they're easy to work with, aren't they, Josh Whale and his dad? Yeah, they're great, great, I've, got, I've just got respect for them as a family, I just think, I just look, you just look at Josh and his kids and that, all, all mixed, uh, uh, Gwyn and all that, he's a character Gwyn, but you look at him round the dad and I just look at him and think, they're a proper family then. Uh, their dad's the hero, isn't he? Yeah, and I, I love that, and if, God, if my yeah. kids, as I see him, I, I, if my kids think the same of me, where I can see that his kids do, I'll think, well, I've done some right. Proper bloke making it like, uh, t proper family, aren't they, like Timbers, aren't they, and Peter and them, and yeah, proper, aren't they, proper t Richard uh, and them, yeah. Mm. Uh, but they conduct themselves classy as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mick, Mick does and Tibbs is doing, uh, uh, they're, they're a class like them. Uh, mm. I, I'd love to have worked with them a bit more. Yeah. Uh, a bit more. But look, it's not, it's not too late because Mark's, I you know Jimmy's, um, he's not took a step back, but like, uh, he's there, but Mark's more, more in front line, I think, now, isn't he? Uh, Ross. Yeah, um, when I went down to Peacock, uh, I, I got yeah. there early morning and I had breakfast with Jimmy and uh, 
there's some tasty old geezers about 17 year old going there they all sit and play poker from about half seven in the morning <laughs> They all look like Freddie For they all look like Freddie Foreman and uh, Richardson's <laughs> They've all got pinky rings on Hey? Martin and Tony Bowers, Oh yeah, he took me upstairs in Martin and uh, oh, well, he's, he's, give me a lovely Yeah, he's a lovely bloke, Martin. He took me upstairs. He says, tuck in, Porky, and he give me yeah. T-shirts, diaries, and all. Oh, they were brilliant. Oh, yeah. That's the first time I've ever been there, like. But like I said, when I was sat down having that couple with Jimmy and whatnot, and I thought, look at all these geezers here. They've all got pinky rings on the thing. You know, like that diamond one I had that I flogged. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I thought, God, look at all these geezers here, and they were proper geezers, and they had proper respect, and you could see people were coming in and. How are you and all that, shaking their hands and I thought, Jesus, I better be quiet in here. <laughs> yeah, you here. Oh, they were trying me gold chain at lot on me. You know, they're proper people, aren't they? Can have a bit of banter, can't they, and that, but they were fantastic, Jimmy. You do have banter. Only thing, like I said to you, Russ, is that sometimes certain people who have got respect for you know, I'll be two examples. I didn't, I didn't think you did too. Uh, right with uh, I know you give them you respect them uh, Billy and, and John Fury but like I think you went too far so? um, because at the end of the day Russ, let me just say this they're from fighting families Peter, John, <coughs> Billy they're from fighting families that's in their blood uh, win or lose they're from fighting families yeah. so you've got to give them respect um, yeah. and all the, we've all got checkered uh, pass you have but yeah. with them, but there's certain people who've never done anything who, who, who want to, you know, uh, lavish in the glory yeah. and they're frauds in the game. They're frauds in the game. Uh, but I don't count them as frauds and, you know, and I'll bully and whatever for when he did that. Uh, he's made a couple of silly videos. But talent-wise, and I know, Billy's a good lad. He's a good lad, Billy. He, he, uh, he, he he would just, he didn't mean no malice, he thought that was funny, but it's not politically correct and, it, and it's not a good role model thing, but what a talent Billy is, I think he's a great talent, and you might not agree with me. Yeah, I do. I, I said that in my video, if you watch it, it's just that I thought it was weapon behaviour, so I picked him as a weapon. Oh, just, oh no, well, I've been a weapon, haven't I? Yeah, you've been uh, a weapon. But, but, you are a weapon. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. We're on a bit. Moving on here, Cash Alley. We've but we yeah. spoke about him. Uh, Tom Little or Dave Allen? Yeah. Who, who, who wins? Does yeah. Cash beat him? Yeah. Tom, we'll have Tom Little, we'll have Dave Allen, we'll have the Rhino. I named him the White Rhino. Has he forgotten that, Dave? He's not, he's not yeah. called White Rhino now, he says. What's he called? He's got a tattoo, so what's he going to have? A, a love heart on his. He's uh, called his Dave. Uh, War Allen. Dave War Allen. Yeah, he's got a tattoo on his chest. War. Apparently, it's Dave War. Della War. David Della War Allen, I think, or something. David Della War. You can't even spell it. It'll be David Della War now, Allen. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think he's slurring a bit, Dan? Uh, I think he'll uh, 
trouble anybody, but like uh, Dave, uh, Dave's a good fighter, Tom Hill's yeah. a good fighter, and like David Price, and uh, you know, we'll be looking at one or two on the international scene, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to to cash in the next couple of fights, finding something meaningful, but if Dave wants to fight cash, we'll make that happen, I can, I can speak to the people at MTK, who I've got great respect for and, and a great relationship, we, we, we can make that happen, I think. Which one of them uh, did you go see in Dubai? Oh, I've just got friends with MTK, and I so yeah. uh, oh. I'm friends with MTK. We are uh, going on about you know these different these different friends and names uh, in it. It's a, it's a big organisation. Yeah. And uh, plus, you know, people they love to have digs at people, but for me, MTK are good for boxing uh, because the. The, uh, they treat the kids properly. They, uh, they, they, they're not just uh, they're willing to be open. And, and, and if you know you get Frank and you get Eddie, they're just vying. They like Pol Pot and and uh, I mean Adolf Hitler. They wanting to be like dictators and just rule the world. Now I think like you get people like the MTK lads. They want to share and play the game, and if people don't play the game, they'll be coming down uh, on. But like so, you know, if you're right and you're fair and you're, and you're, and you're honourable, mm-hmm. it's not a problem. If you're fair and honourable with, with, with Eddie and Frank, they've, you know, I've come out of the end of uh, dodgy dealings with them. I respect them, but I don't like how they trade and do business. But mm-hmm. uh, I respect them, I think they're brilliant promoters. But business-wise, uh, it leaves a bit a lot to be desired. And I'll just, I've said this before, if they were in the scrap metal game, which has maybe been my core business since I was young, uh, they wouldn't last two minutes because they're not as honourable as me. Yeah. End of story. Yeah, uh, moving on then. So you've done 80-odd shows in just over 20 years. So have you still yeah. got the hunger for it, Dennis? talking to people like you would I <laughs> I won't be wasting my time on people like you I'd just be listening to you and think cringing and laughing cringing and putting my thumbs up all in one session <laughs> uh, so that's what you do bring every different emotion out uh, uh, yeah I've still got a hunger for it and, and I've mentioned that I Josh Tommy working with Glenn and you know Big Richard who, was, who, I, who I love to bits and John Fuchs well, I love to be. So I love, you know, they, them kind of people, mm. they just uh, feed my hunger for for the game. Uh, my mistress has said to me ages ago, why don't you pack it in? You've nothing to prove. You've done massive shows. You've done shows in Vegas. Uh, uh, you know, once you've had that taste of success and winning things and then winning things with fighters who people say, who didn't think should, should be entitled to win things. Clinton, Stuart Hall, uh, Jim McDonald. Uh, you know, there's people amongst that are, who, who are, in my eyes, ungrateful yeah. in certain things. But I've done it, been there and done it with them. And this fight is what, what I've got to help get titles uh, for, um, who are ungrateful. But, you know, before they get titles, they're very humble and then they start playing the victim. So, um, but, you know, people like Carl Thompson, who I've got so much respect for, you know, Imagine Crawford if he was out here with me now. If he'd have been with me now, what would <laughs> You like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>